Right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done and if you hear the phrase drillers make killers right i mean that was bruce lee in a nutshell he felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect nobody trained as hard as the great bruce lee bruce lee once again ready to engage in a big spot here tonight and now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight and now for the particulars here's bruce buffett Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a busy post. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Nasruddin Ibaba! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon! Herbert Dean's in the building. Right, He's right. the third man in the octagon right. time. Right. All right, so here is Francis Nasur Dean Imavov trains under the great Fernand Lopez there at the factory in Paris, France. And He's already got some pretty big scalps on his resume, trying to reel in another big one here tonight. And while he does have a lot of confidence in his striking, he believes his grappling is going to be key in winning this matchup here tonight. Nice kick, yep. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Beautiful body kick. Another massive body kick lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big shot to the body. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, good block there. Oh, beautiful job here, defense. 
offensively, and then he lands the counter shot. So he's really starting to get the timing of his opponent and working this fight right into his wheelhouse as the consummate counter striker. Really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Hook to the head there by Lee. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Oh, nice jab there by Lee. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Right on the button. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Touched him with the strike there. Past the two-minute mark in round one. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Continuing to go to the head. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, short uppercut in the clinch by Lee. Push kick there to the body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Nice counter shot there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, what a punch. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, that left hand is on point. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and he's starting to show oh, us. Wow. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, so a nice job by this young man landing counter strikes in the previous round. We will see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. To be able to stand back and see your opponent's attack and counter so effectively is a very, very difficult skill to pick up. This young man has done that, and he has done that to a really high level. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Yet another knee, and sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, beautifully placed with another punch there. Oh, nice 
Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Yep. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Nasordini Mavov's nose. Oh! Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh, a nice straight there by Imavov. Under twenty seconds now to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. A swing and a miss by Nasordini Mavov. Ooh, big shot land. It got checked. That punch, no good. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big hook. Oh, good jab to the body by Imabov. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp. Tonight. Cat mouse. You gotta play cat mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Imabov's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Sordini Mavo. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, how good is that jab by Nasordini Mavo? Straight punch is true. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, spot the class, hands up, chin down. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. This real sneaky head kick gets in there. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Another kick to the leg now landed by Lou. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. with that kick. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. 90 seconds to go. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Straight right hand counter. Patented front kick there by Lee. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Imavov's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Can't take many of those. You better check. Final seconds of round three. Bob off going for the leg kick. He misses. Huh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds.
Take a seat. Great round, bud, man. You look spectacular. You are outworking him everywhere. Your pace, your cardio is fantastic. He is dead. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, real. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rings? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down. Oh, 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 big diving punch lands up top. He's trying to finish this fight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. me with that knockout if that is not the number one play on sports center tonight i'm not sure what would top it one of the best knockouts we've seen all year in a very long time i have not seen someone look this good he promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout All right, let's get it inside to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by the coach and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee.